patuloy na sumusubaybay sa The Working President. Isa sa layunin ni Pangulong Arroyo ang maging globally competitive ang Pilipinas sa larangan ng agham at teknolohiya. Dahil dito, isang proyekto sa pagitan ng Ayala Land at UP ang isinagawa. Ito ang North Science and Technology Park at UP Ayala Land Techno Hub na matatagpuan sa loob ng UP Campus. Alamin natin kung ano-anong benepisyo ang ibinibigay nito sa mga estudyante at sa mamamayan dito sa Approve. Ito na nga raw ang bagong simbolo ng pagsabay ng Pilipinas sa alon ng paggamit ng makabagong agham at teknolohiya. Ang North Science and Technology Park ng Premiadong Universidad ng Pilipinas at ang UP Ayala Land Techno Hub na pinasinayaan ni Pangulong Gloria Makapagal Arroyo noong November 21, 2008. This park will serve as our country's foremost IT laboratory training ground and incubator of new and high value adding products and services. Together with the science and technology complex and the science and technology park, it will provide a nurturing environment for new IT-based businesses that transform new technologies into useful and commercially viable services. Ang pagkakaroon ng isang techno hub ay nabuo sa pangunan ng Universidad ng Pilipinas na siya nagnais na magkaroon ng isang sentro kung saan mapagtitibay ang kolaborasyon ng akademya at ng industriya para makamit ang tuloy-tuloy na pag-usbong ng siyensya at teknolohiya sa bansa. It's a flat world and you need to collaborate not only with industry but with research peers uh, around the world in other universities and, and uh, even the multinationals. The, ito nga, itong, yung industry academic collaboration is something that we are, that UP is beginning to, to look more closely into. Dati ko sabihin, di ba, yung mga scientists, they're up in their own ivory tower na ganyan, na parang walang relasyon, uh, parang hindi ganun ka-relevant sa, uh, no, sa industry. And we're hoping that with industry being close by, mas madidevelop yung synergy ito between academic and industry. Kasama ng UP sa pagtugon sa pangangailangan ng isang technology hub, ang Ayala Land, ang nangungunang property developer sa bansa. The UP Ayala Land Techno Hub is really an office campus development. It is a collaboration between the university and Ayala Land. 38 hektarya ng lupa ang inilaan ng UP at idinevelop ng Ayala Land para maging bagong sentro ng inovasyon sa Pilipinas. So it is a 38, mixed, 38 hectare mixed-use development that we envisioned it to be. It is also what we call a learning laboratory that would benefit both the academe and the industry. Uh, why so? So first of all, the research and technology will be collaborating with the um, faculty, maybe with graduate uh, students, with other students, uh, on whatever theory and uh, applications they can collaborate with. Um, the locators or our business partners can give lectures can give or can serve as advisors or consultants to any of the researches that the academic community would need. Inahalin tulad ang Techno Hub sa mga nauna ng mga kanlungan ng agham at teknolohiya sa ibang panig ng daigdig. We're borrowing on uh, models abroad um, like uh, Silicon Valley and uh, the Boston area no? and, and both uh, both of these developments in the U.S. Uh, are centered around premier academic institutions, uh, Stanford and UC Berkeley on the West, and then on the East, uh, you have MIT, of course. They had envisioned it to be like a Silicon Valley, which has its synergy with Stanford, or um, Route 1 
128 with MIT. Uh, the University of the National University of Singapore has its own science park. You also have it in China, in Taiwan, and UP really wanted to bring out its um, other mission of being a scientific and a research university. At dahil dito, sinisiguro ng Ayala Land na ang mga infrastruktura at pasilidad ay makakatugon sa mga pangailangan ng mga kumpanyang mamumuhunan rito at sa mga estudyante at dalubhasa ng siyensyang magtitipon-tipon doon upang mapausad ng gusto ang teknolohiya. We've completed four buildings, two more buildings by the end of the year and the four more by the middle and towards the end of next year. Then if we do have a critical mass, we've got, we're going to do uh, our phase two. That's our phase two for residential dorms and uh, a little more uh, retail, hotel, and maybe, maybe some more offices. Aside from 10 office buildings, we'll have a, for the central area, we'll have a landscape area. We'll have some retail facilities, which is actually in the middle. We'll have a sports center. We will have, uh, in the later phase, some residential dormitories for the faculty, for students, and also mainly for the employees of the UPAL and Tecto Hub. We'll probably also have a hotel. Malaki ang mga adhikain ng mga institusyong gumagalaw sa likod ng pagsasatupad ng isang hub kung saan uusbong ang mga ideya, imbensyon at inovasyon ng ating mga dalubhasa na magbibigay sa atin ng higit pang pandaigdigang tagumpay. Instead of, say, our, for example, our workers, our scientists going abroad no, and, and so seeking, seeking green, greener pastures abroad, nandito na nga yung hub, we're creating jobs here and yun nga, yung mas mataas ang value added na lalabas dyan. I remember back in the 70s, no, sa among economists dito sa atin, parang pinagtatawanan ang Malaysia. Bakit anyang Malaysia? Ito, puro low value added yung mga ginagawa sa export processing source nila. Puro assembly lang anyo ng mga kotse, assembly ng mga computer computer parts. And look where Malaysia is now. No? Nang ito, nagkumpisa sila sa ganun, but eventually, yun nga, yung, yung through such uh, activities, yung pa pa-improve na pa-improve naman in terms of higher value added. And in a way, kung sa atin nga rito, we're hoping to even move faster towards the, those the higher value added uh, activities in the IT sector dito sa Tecno Hub natin. Ang pagkumpleto sa pangarap na ito ay tinatansyang aabot sa halagang 6 na bilyong piso at buo ang suporta ng pamahalaan ni Pangulong Arroyo sa pagsiguro na makakamit ito pati na ang kabuang pag-usad ng agham at teknolohiya sa bansa. President Arroyo, uh, two years ago, started infusing funds into UP and the National Science Community. No, kaya nga itong 2000 7, 2008, mga 1 billion pesos ang naibigay ng national government no, sa, for UP to develop the national science and technology complex. Kaya rin malaki ang pag-asa ng UP at Ayala Land sa ganap na pagrealisa sa mga pangarap na bagamat semento at konkreto pa lamang ay magiging tunay na pagkilala ng mundo sa Pilipinas bilang isa sa mga kanungan ng teknolohiya at agham. We're really hoping that the vision of this being the first of many science and technology parks in, in, in the nation could really spur our, our scientific, the technology and research um, efforts in the country. Uh, we also hope that this, this will become an inspiration to our young scientists and our young uh, technocrats so that they will really go into the science and technology field. We're hoping that you know, the university itself would contribute better to the, our national development goals, you know, not only in science technology, but in, in job creation. It's, it's a, an exciting development, uh, both for UP as well as for Ayala Land. And uh, we hope it will be the, the seed of a technological and innovation center, in, not just in, in the Liman or in Quezon City, but in the, the whole country.
So we, we hope it's going to be a, a model of uh, development and innovation. Techno Hub will set the standard against which future SMT parks and locators will be measured. And that is the same for the country as a whole.